Okay, once again, Simon from Extreme Metal Television here on 70K, day number three. We're here with... Leave Christine from Leave's Eyes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Leaves Eyes. For the people who've never heard Leaves Eyes before, what can they expect? What can they expect? Um, a huge, a great sound, bombastic sound with female vocals, influences from folk music and classical music. I um, grew up with Black Sabbath and classical music, <laughs> and I was born with, I guess, two, um, uh, well, um, vocal chords, uh, <laughs> which can take a lot, so yeah, that's how it all came together. And um, I'm from Norway, so I brought a lot of um, Viking um, history and Viking mythology into our music. Um, so yeah, Leaves Eyes, um, Leaves Eyes. Um, we've been around for 10 years, we had our uh, 10 years anniversary last year, uh, but um, my band members and myself, we've been around for like 20 years and more. So here we go. <laughs> Symphonies of the night, um, I'd say, uh, kind of sums up all the all the good things about Leaves Eyes. Uh, basically, I told my band members uh, before we started composing this album. Um, to just let in any influences they wanted to let in to our music and I have to admit I feel very comfortable with this album and with where I'm standing with my band right now so um, yes it's it's a it's an album um, that really shows um, experience live experience and studio experience um, and um, Definitely the, 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 the core of Leaf Size and also we always add spices to our music, um, which I think is very important either from the folk area or, or the, the classical uh, area. But um, Leaf Size is, a, is not a, a band which goes with the flow. It's a, without si sounding um, arrogant, um, I don't really pay much attention to what's going on around me. I'm just concentrating on my own thing, on my own band. So yeah, um, 10 years of Leaf's Eyes and Symphonies of the Night is exactly that. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, the collaborations that you've done in the past. I mean, you had a collaboration with Cradle of Filth. How was that? Um, they rang me up and they um, asked me to um, do some guest vocals for Nymphetamine and they needed my vocals within 48 hours. So um, luckily we have our own studio, Master Sound Studio. So I recorded the track, um, I recorded my vocals, sent it tracks to uh, to London where Cradle of Filth were recording at that point of time. I, I rang up um, Danny Filth and uh, he said that that's the thing, that's exactly what we wanted. Um, for me it was like when I first heard the song it was, um, I imagined um, uh, where wild roses grow, um, that this kind of duet and, and that was exactly what Danny had in mind. So. Two months later, uh, later we were nominated for the Grammy uh, in LA. Motorhead ran away with it, so <laughs> maybe there'll be a second chance. Yeah. A lot of people come out uh, dressed in garb. I mean, they dress in in outfits that that they see or, or see as symbolizing Vikings. Mm -hmm. uh, does that add to the show? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, and I'm always moved when I see Norwegians uh, in the crowd. You see them, it's, uh, there is just no way you can't see them. And uh, um, it, uh, I've always been uh, uh, interested in, in, in Viking mythology and history. That's something uh, uh, I've always uh, found interesting in languages. Um, so um, uh, it's, it's uh, every time there is a new album coming up, um, I, I walk down into my to my basement, my cellar, and I dig up some some 
old books. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I like studying when I when I write my lyrics. I um, I read a lot and I, I Google a lot and I talk to a lot of people. And uh, linguistically, I, I I got my information from um, from the university in Stavanger in Norway and the University of Stuttgart in Germany. So um, and that's good. Um, my studies were not in vain. My master degree. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is Jeremy Wagner from Broken Hope, and you are watching Extreme Metal Television. False Flag was formed in 2012 in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. They released their debut EP, Aerobus, in 2013. They are currently working on a brand new album. The new album is coming out in June or July this, this year. We're taking our time with it, but we're going to have a full length album out this year. And hopefully, a, a bit of a tour behind it, at least a CD release in Calgary and Edmonton, and you know, maybe uh, hit up Vancouver or the island. But uh, we'll do a little bit of a CD release at some point. How are you guys recording? Are you are you doing a live raw recording or are you doing live a, di a DI so recording? Yeah. Or? We've only done one full day of recording so far to do one song to get the recording started. And uh, with the addition of Mike and the band, we're gonna get it. You know, and, and Dan also too. Um, we're gonna get them both in the studio to to kind of finish the album off with us. So we've got one day in the studio, two uh, two days booked next week, and we're gonna keep on from there. everything that anybody heard tonight and all that stuff credit that to these two guys right here man because like Russ wrote every single note and him and Nick man they they busted their balls doing that shit and like this I was saying some beats too. yeah man that's what I mean like both of these guys like me and Dan you know we've been buddies with these guys for a while but this is nothing to do with us yet you know what I mean but so far it's it's all these guys and it's awesome man they, they got to so the future is us integrating the rest of these guys in the, uh, the, the musical experience of Falls Flag. <laughs>